I love Mac in general, but my favorite Apple product of all time is the iMac. How else could it be? It packs a refined user experience with a powerhouse of performance in a single aluminum and tempered glass product design. But one of the biggest flaws of this design is definitely the user upgradability. At least this is what most reviews say. But is it really true? <laughs> So what's up guys, Faria and welcome to Shades of Tech. So iMac are fully user credible. Well, I want to make very clear to you that while watching this video that I've never built or even opened a PC or a Mac. So my experience and knowledge of the matter is basically zero. Regardless, my answer is totally yes. I honestly think that iMac are fully user credible even from non-experienced ones. You might not believe me, but I promise I'll change your mind. With my poor knowledge of how internal Mac work, I was able to upgrade my base model A2013 27-inch iMac to the maxed out configuration with an i7 3.5 to 3.9 GHz quad-core Haswell processor, 32 of 1600 MHz DDR3 memory and 3 TB of blazing fast SSD. It also included a thermal paste removal I reapply. And the two words I can describe is my first experience in a lifetime are fun and easy. So in the next couple of weeks I'll share all the process with focus episode on the RAM, the SSD and the CPU grades, not a boring step-by-step -step guide, I will report just my experience, the benefits and also the economics. Fun fact, the first time I opened the iMac, for the full upgrade it took around 4 hours, so I strongly think that if I made it, you can as well, no doubt. So this video is about what you should know before attempting this and some good practice, some tricks and things I gather during the experience. But before we start, I want to thank Luke Miani for giving me some crucial information on the Blade SSD, Queen from Snazzy Lab for the courage because he upgraded an under warranty iMac Pro and an iMac 5K and to OWC at MacSales.com from providing most of the tools and upgraded components I needed. I leave their link in the description. The moment you cut the adhesive tape, you void your warranty. For this reason, everybody will tell you that everything you do is at your own risk. And this is true, but you don't need to be scared too much. Reason why you must make your homework first very well, select the parts that you know will work for sure, watch the opening and upgrading tutorial many times until you know them very well, and OWC and iFixit sites will serve you well. Actually, you have more than one shot as long as you don't apply the adhesive tape, and a pro tip is to use some adhesive tape to stick the screen in place and verify that everything is working before closing up. This is very important. And also the power supply unit is exposed in the iMac design, so you mustn't use the Mac in the hour before the attempt and follow the instruction to discharge the surge. And of course always work in a static environment and protect yourself with surge protectors. But which iMac should you use? Definitely go for a used one. If it's your first time opening an iMac, I wouldn't do on a 2019 model. And even I don't think you will even need it. The 27 inch iMac are generally better than the 21 inch because they have the user credible RAM since the 2012 model and also the SSD blade slot even if the iMac didn't ship with a fusion drive. Thanks Luke for the tip. So the main choice is between 5K and non 5K display. So basically from 2014 they have all 5K display. You must keep in mind also that the newer the iMac, the higher the cost for the CPU and the RAM. SSD are the same. I paid $130 for my Intel Core i7-4771 for the 2013 model, but the 2015 and 17 model CPU will cost more. And also the RAM, since in the newer model you'll have DDR4, not DDR3, and potentially go up to 64GB of RAM. And also cutting the adhesive with the pizza tool is a very long and intensive process. It takes around 15 to 20 minutes, especially if your Mac has been open already. So just take your time. The scariest moment is when you have closed the iMac and it boots up for the first time and it's a really scary moment. Now, what can you upgrade? Basically, you can upgrade the RAM from the back door only in the 27 inch models, just a few minutes. 
you can upgrade the mechanical 3.5 inch hard drive with a 2.5 inch SSD but you will need a temperature sensor otherwise your fan will kick in at maximum speed always and it's very loud OWC sells it. You can also upgrade the Blade SSD. We'll go deeper in the dedicated segment, but since 2012, all the 27 inch models have the slot, even if they didn't ship with the Fusion Drive, but the 21 inch have only it if they had a Fusion Drive since the beginning. You can use a dedicated Blade SSD from OWC or an NVMe Blade with adapter. For this upgrade, you have to remove everything except the heat sink. The slot is on the back of the motherboard. And last but not the least, the upgrade of the CPU, you'll have to remove everything including the heat sink and remove and reapply the thermal paste and the CPU and GPU heat sink. So this was a quick dive in, hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching me so far. Be sure to like or dislike this video, comment and subscribe for the complete series coming soon. And as always, stay tuned on Shades of Tech. Ciao!